Hello there, chalk and friends. It's Makin Maria, your independent chalk couture designer, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another fun night of crafting. Um, we are currently working on different types of backgrounds, and we've been making all kinds of fun, different uh, things that we can put chalk on. So, tonight, we are going to do something that I don't have a ton of experience with, but it's a lot of fun. Hey Jane, welcome to the party. Um, we're gonna do an acrylic pour, and I've done a few of them, so I'll show you those examples. But in a, an attempt to make it so you guys can see what I'm doing, you guys are really far away from me and up high. So I'm gonna need to get you guys on my phone because I'm not going to see your comments otherwise. Because no, there's no way my cheaters can see that far away. Okay, so I'm gonna try to keep up with your comments. Ah! I don't spill paint all over um, in a different way just because I love talking with you guys but you're really far away from me in an attempt to get you up higher so you can see um, hey Terry welcome welcome everybody so tonight we're gonna do an acrylic pour and I showed you a bunch of these the other day that I made so I'll give you a quick and I, and I teased you with them again in our little uh, picture but this is uh, several different grays and one blue color that you pour basically on the canvas and you let gravity do its thing and you make a beautiful canvas with it and it goes around the edges. I am not a huge fan of the stretched canvases. So we're gonna chalk on this and I have to honestly say I have never chalked on stretched canvas before. I've only chalked on the canvas um, panels. So this will be a new experience for all of us <laughs> tonight. Um, to try this one. But see the beautiful sheen that this one has? Um, I did not seal this or put anything in this. I think the difference between this, hey Virginia, between this and some of the other ones that we did, all right, I'll show you, is the additive that you add to the paint. Um, so I'll explain that in a minute. But this is one that we're going to chalk welcome on. So this one is very pink. Um, hey Nicole. Uh, this one I did seal. Hey Debbie. So this one has a different sheen to it. So when I chalked it, um, I don't know if you can see the difference. This is super flat. I don't know. I do not like this one at all. Um, I, I don't, the colors kind of mixed together. But it doesn't have any sheen to it. It's super flat. Uh, paint wise there's there's nothing to it so this turned out like this one was like that and I sealed it with a semi-gloss so it has a little bit of a sheen to it not a lot and um, I sprayed it to get the now this one is again I made this at the same time I made the gray one this is not sealed um, and it's because of the additive this one has a really nice sheen to it Virginia's glad I have my apron on. <laughs> Virginia, I know we are getting messy today. Very, very messy. So these two I did on glass. So those are canvases and one cradle board. These two are glass. And again, I did one there with different additives. But look at the sheen on this one. How it's a complete gloss to it, which makes it super cool. This one really, to me, looks like marble. It's gorgeous. And then this one... I like the colors better on this one than the other one. This one has a sheen to it, but this one, again, I sealed. So the difference between them is the additive that I added to the paint. So there's a major cost difference in how you do this project. So the, um, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna move my phone because you guys are really far away from me. There, much better now. Um, so you just use basic acrylic paint, you know, that you buy. The craft, at the craft store. Um, these are, I learned some differences in these. Um, if you go to Walmart, they're 50 cents. If you go to Joann's, or I'm sorry, Michael's, they're 70 cents. But the differences in them is some are matte, some are gloss. Um, so I don't, the, some of the people I watched on YouTube said it didn't matter because it was going to end up flat anyways, which I think is because of the type of additive they were using. The other ones, it was totally had a sheen to it. So that's why I'm thinking 
as I'm rambling, it's the additive. Hey Cassidy, welcome to the party. We're doing an alcohol, uh, acrylic pour. So, the two additives that I used are this one and this one. Major price difference. This one is like seven bucks and it goes a long way. This one was $30 with a 50% off coupon. Um, and this is the one that made the beautiful sheen. So the first time I used this one, I didn't add any water to it. I just added it to the paint. Tonight, I'm going to try, I added water to it because I think that's what you were supposed to do and I just didn't do it the first time. Um, so I added water to this one tonight. So I'm curious to see, do I still get that gorgeous sheen or um, does adding the water make a difference? So this, I would say, was a superior product, but there's definitely a price difference. And you use, you know, you use quite a bit of it. So what you do is it's two parts of this to one part of water. So I did the mixing already because it's a lot of mixing. <laughs> and I figured you guys didn't want to watch me do all that mixing. Um, so you do two parts of paint to one part of this mixed with water. No, I'm saying that wrong. Back up. So this is the flow, this is the, this one. I did two parts of this to one part of water and I used distilled water, which I never do is distilled water. But some of the videos I watched said, you know, otherwise things can grow on your picture. <laughs> so I did use distilled water. But you use two parts of the additive to one part water you mix it up and you let it sit a little bit so it gets super watery um, because you want the air bubbles out because if you pour you're going to get air bubbles then when you put your paint in a cup you again do two parts paint to one part additive and you're really looking for a consistency you know of paint you don't want it thick because you need it to flow as you're having gravity work its magic so, Virginia would love to watch me mixing. <laughs> Virginia, you crazy. <laughs> okay, you're going to get to watch me mix, Virginia, but you would really watch me mix if I hadn't done this. So, this paint, this one here, I don't know if you guys can see it. This is metallic, and it is so cool. I cannot wait to see what it's going to do on our little project here. So I have six paint colors, and they're all mixed with the Liquitex pouring medium. That's what it's called. It's a pouring medium. Um, I mixed them with the pouring medium. They're all ready to go. The key to this is a cup. Okay, I didn't. Okay. We'll use this cup. Um, and I'm going to do it on a piece of glass. And I'm pretty sure you guys can see me. But I need you guys to tell me if you can't see me. Because what I'm noticing it now that we're doing these more and more is what I see, you guys don't see. You miss half my head, you miss half the project. So I just need to know, can you see enough of what we're doing? Otherwise I'll move you forward or backwards. But what you do, this is so easy you guys, it's not even funny. You take your paint and you pour it in a cup. Challenging, right? And you just, so this is, I would tell you, way more liquefied, way, way more runny than it was the last time I did this. So it will be curious to see how this turns out. I will not tell, I am no expert at this. I am the first one to tell you this. This is, those projects you've seen are the first time, oh, I guess it's not, okay, I'm slightly lying. It's the second time I've done this. So all you do is alternate the colors. You just pour them in your cup. Really not hard. And I'm all I'm doing tonight is grays and blues with a little bit of metallic. Because I think the metallic, I'm curious to see the metallic, what it's going to do. And what happens is, and I can see it happening, is the paints kind of mix. So I'm curious to see what happens to the blue, the dark blue, what color it becomes. So I'm just alternating and filling up my cup. That's all you do. Probably the hardest part about this project is patience and waiting for it to dry. 
so that you can do something with it once it's done. But I'm just going back and forth. I'm filling up my, I got a lot of paint in this cup. This is probably enough paint to do two projects, not just one. But I like, I'd rather have more paint than not enough paint. Because in mid project, you don't want to run out of paint. So I'm just pouring it in. Now there's, when you go to dump, I'm living on the edge here, Virginia. Good thing I got my apron on. Um, when you go to dump, there's many ways to dump your paint. You can pour it, you can run it through a colander, which is really cool. Oh my gosh, I saw some amazing videos where they ran it through colanders. Um, you can take the cup and put the flip it, just flip it and see what happens. I like to pour because I don't want paint everywhere. And you know, I'm a messy enough crafter as it is. I don't need paint everywhere, <laughs> but I'm just keeping alternating my colors and I'm getting ready. To, I'm almost ready to pour here. Do a little more of this light blue. I like the light blue. So I'm really curious to see how this works. Nothing like doing it live, right? If I'm going to screw up, I'd rather screw up with you ladies because you ladies are nice to me. I have a lot of paint in this cup. This is definitely enough paint for several projects. Okay. Oops, I forgot to put my gloves on. See, Virginia, I remembered the apron, but I forgot the gloves. And I have them sitting next to me. All right, ready? Oh my gosh. This is the moment of truth. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, hopefully we're not going to have paint everywhere. The first one I did, I thought I was going to have paint everywhere, and I put it in a box, and I had it all. As I got, did them more, I realized that it really all just depends on how much paint you put on it as to, you know, do you have paint everywhere or not. I'm going to move my phone. <laughs> okay, ready? We can do this, right? We got this. I wouldn't want to ruin my flannel shirt. <laughs> I had no problem ruining my sweater with all the ink, but I wouldn't want to ruin my flannel shirt. Okay, ready? Here we go. So we just pour the paint on. Oh, this is cool looking. Okay, that's all I do. Push your sleeves up, please, Virginia. You're so funny. And then you just let gravity work. It's magic. And you let it get all over. See how it goes? This is it, ladies. <laughs> this is so not complicated. Ooh, these are cool colors. All right, I'm gonna add a little more paint just to get it on the edges. Plus, I'm not, I'm gonna try to cover up some of that drastic blue. Okay, ready? I will, I will flip it so you can see it, just hang on. So what happens is, is there's all these cells in here of paint that end up coming out. And as it dries, they will continue to change. So I'm trying to get that one little spot. See how that one little spot is holding out on me? All right, so as you do this, you can move your colors if you don't like certain colors. Like I'm not, I'm not digging on the blue. I like the gray. Shocking, I know, right? I like my muted colors. So I'm just working my grays in and moving my blue. And that's all you do. Now I used half of the paint. Okay, so what happens is, look at those little dots of color. Those are little cells. Oh, this is cool, ladies. The metallic is amazing. I cannot wait to see it dry. Okay, I gotta get my corner because I didn't go all the way to the corner on this corner. But you can move it around, you can get it however, you know, you can bring out the colors that you want out. But that's really it. There's nothing else to this. Okay, I'm the, the blue's growing on me now. As the more and more blue comes out, I'm kind of liking the blue. All right, so what do you think? Should we, should I move it around some more? 
or yeah, probably bring more of that gray back in. So it takes, you know, a good 24 hours for this to dry because it's a lot of paint. And that's part of what the additive does is the additive helps it dry. And I have never chalked on these, so we're going to try chalking on it. Um, but you have to you have to let them dry. You can't just... Cassidy doesn't like the blue. Oh, no. Cassidy, you like the blue or you don't like the blue? Love the white contrast with the blue. Yeah, I know. We need to get more white in there. Let's try... See it all? Oh, there we go. It kind of just depends on when you, you know, wh where you poured it. Okay, let's get some more of that white in there. See, I like the, I like the middle better than I like the blue. So I'm going to do this with 70 <laughs> second graders. Did you want to tell me I'm crazy now or later? <laughs> um, for the art projects we're going to auction off. This is what one of the things they're doing. All right. I like more of the white, less of the blue. Cassie? Oh, Cassie loves the blue. Okay. All right. So, big key. I learned this. Make sure it's level to dry or as close to level as possible. So what you do is you just check on it in a little bit and make sure that you're not pooling on one side. And I'll show you when we, when we chalk on the gray one, I'll show you how it pooled and uh, didn't turn out so nice. Now, if I had another piece of cardboard handy, we would get rid of this paint. <laughs> Hang on. Two seconds, ladies. I got a piece of cardboard right here. So I'm going to move this one to a another cardboard, and we'll do a canvas quick. I'll show you the difference. It is a little bit harder to move it on the canvas. All right, so we're just gonna, ooh. Oh, this one is gonna be so cool. This one is screaming for that whale like we did last night, right? But look at how cool it is. All right, so I'm just gonna set it over here. Woo, the cup stuck to it, the bottom of it. I'm just gonna set it there to dry. Now canvases, I think we got enough paint to do this. We might not have enough paint, but if we don't, We'll just do part of the canvas. All right. Ah! We won't be doing the canvas because I just spilled the paint all over my table. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. We need a brief intermission for the cleanup. Clean up in aisle nine. <laughs> Only me, right? Only me is going to spill the paint all over. Live, right? Live. All right, so we'll do a smaller canvas. I have them. God knows I have every size of canvas <laughs> in this house. You have to watch the cups because the cups stick. And I could literally scrape up the paint off of the cardboard and uh, put it on here as well. I'm not going to, but I could. All right. So let's see now this is where all my white was. So maybe we will scoop up some of it off of the cardboard. What could we scoop up paint with? Ooh. Yeah, this is all white. We need what we need blue. That didn't work. Hang on. I can come up with something. Right? A squeegee! Let's try that. We'll use a chalk couture squeegee. We could probably just scrape it right onto the canvas. This is... <laughs> this is about as messy as I get. And those of you who know me know I don't like mess. Okay, so I'm just scooping the gray or the blue right onto the canvas. We leave no no paint behind, right? 
and we just move it around. You gotta cover the whole thing. And once the whole thing gets wet, then you can really move it. But you gotta get the whole thing wet in order to be able to move it. Now we lose some of the cells of color because obviously they mix, are mixing together as I am, you know, scooping them up on my table. See, Lisa, you're right. Gosh, you ladies are so smart. You, you guys, tell you, I'd be lost without you. I was thinking paint scoopers, chalk squeegee too. Spatula would be good if I was in my kitchen or anywhere near my kitchen. I could, I suppose, have just poured more paint. I do have all this paint next to me. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so I'm just moving it. This one's cool too. This one looks really like clouds. This one's cool. Woo! All right, so what this one doesn't have on it is any metallic. So we're going to add it. We're just going to dump these guys together and make a mess. Oh yeah, and oh by the way, I am chalking tonight too. You guys didn't have anything to do tonight, did you? Well, I meant the squeegee, but the word wouldn't come to me. <laughs> That'd be your buddy. Alright, so, we're just going to try pouring some, ooh, ladies, this is so much fun. This is like the best, look at that color. This is like the best stress reliever ever. Just truly watching paint move on a canvas. Okay, and I'm going to push it that way, but then I'm going to get that blue back. Because I like that blue. By going back, I get it back. We need a little more metallic in this corner. Less white, more metallic. Okay. Love this metallic. I'm curious to see how the metallic dries. Like, does it lose it? Okay. Alright, I think this one's good. What do you think? I think it's good. So I'm a hot mess. So I'm gonna take my gloves off. I should probably leave my gloves on as I clean up here. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that glove on. And I'm just gonna move our stuff over. And then we're gonna hope and pray that chalk sticks to this. <laughs> Cause won't it be funny if we go through all of this and then the chalk doesn't stick. It'll stick, right? It's gonna stick. I'm confident it's gonna stick. I have paint everywhere. But that's okay. It's not art unless it's messy and everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna move this. Ooh, okay, like this is cool. Check that out. This is really cool. I can't wait for this to dry so that I can take a picture for you guys. All right, hang on. I'm just gonna move this guy so he can dry. You know, and what's nice, they're so, the two of them are so different. One is, they're just completely different looks. It, and it's the same paint. You wouldn't think that that would be the case, that they would be so different. So just give me two seconds here while I try to uh, not spill any more paint, but yet glob up all this paint. So we don't end up with paint. Because this is paint. This is not chalk. This isn't coming off. This is like the paint for your walls. <laughs> it doesn't really... I, Charlie got paint on his... We were painting the other day and he got paint on his brand new sweatpants and I tried everything to get that paint off and it was not coming off. Okay, so. Almost done. Hey, Evie! Welcome to the party! You missed the big paint spill, Evie. <laughs> 
We're gonna call it Paint Spill 2019. Wait, it's early in the year. There'll be more, don't worry. Okay, so, let's get to chalking, ladies. Stop cleaning up, Maria. You guys did not tune in to watch me clean. All right, taking off my gloves. I am gonna attempt to... Hey, Ashley, when you chalk on glass, will you do the back side like you did the glass last night? Yes, Ashley. Um, no, actually, no, Ashley. I'm not gonna do that, and I'll show you why when I pull up the gray one. So I, that was my intention when I did it, was like last night's projects, okay? This is the one we made last night. So this is our alcohol ink that we made live, and then I chalked on it after we were done. Um, but I chalked on the glass side, not the side that we inked on. So the ink is on the back. Tonight, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to chalk on top of the paint, and this is why. So this is the front, and this is the back. And what happened was, you can see how I swirled the paint and the colors. It didn't, when I move the paint, it moves the top layer. It doesn't move the bottom layer. So the bottom layer remains like I poured it because this was my intention I thought this would be so cool you know it didn't work so we are gonna chalk on top of the paint and we're gonna pray that the paint sticks down and doesn't ruin my transfer so let's start with this guy so we are going to put I have all kinds of transfers out tonight welcome goes on the big one That'll be a quick, easy, big boy job. The blue one gets Dream, Create, and Inspire. We're going to do Dream, Create, and Inspire just across the bottom of it. And this one, I was thinking one of two things. The red one, I was going to do love on. But I don't know if we'll get that far. You, you ladies don't want to watch me that long. <laughs> um, for this one... I was thinking that we would do just the top part of this, and what this says is, blessed are the curious, for they shall have adventures. Or, our other option I thought would be, this one is Wander Wild and Free, and it has some really cool features to it. It has antlers and all these really pretty flowers. So it has these cool, we're not going to do the antlers, but I was just thinking... Just the words, wander, wild, and free. So those are our choices. Wander, wild, and free, or blessed are the curious, for they shall have adventures. I thought that that would go um, good with these colors, because these colors are really muted. Which one do you think? Which one should we do? That's the only one I'm really questioning as to what we should put on it. So maybe we'll come back to that one and give you guys a chance to vote. Nicole says adventure. Um, I kind of like the adventure too. I haven't used it. Cheryl says adventures too. All right. That was the one I was leaning towards. I like the adventure. Um, I have not used this transfer. Debbie says adventure too. Ashley says it. Okay. Jeez Louise, guys. Everybody likes adventure. We're going adventure. Even, wow, everybody, woo! <laughs> Nobody likes Wander Wild and Free. It's kind of like our roaming one last night, that's what. Or the Wild Blue Yonder was the wheel we did last night. Okay, this is a new transfer. If we ruin this new transfer, <laughs> and I don't think I can replace this one, I think this one's retired, but that's okay, right? I can, we can live on the edge. We're just gonna fuzz the heck out of him towels on the floor. This is what happens when I just throw things around. So, got my towel. We're going to fuzz. Oh, first I got it right on the back of him. Blessed are the curious. Okay. 
in the new stuff that's coming on Wednesday is Blessed Are the Peacemakers. Can't wait to get that one. It is an adventure, Terry. <laughs> Terry, every day with me is an adventure. Okay, so chalking 101. I take the backer off of the transfer. I do not take the transfer off of the backing. I do that to prevent sticking it together. The back. Because if the back sticks together, we all know what happens. It's death to my transfers, most likely. I am actually think I'm going to fuzz this on my flannel shirt. Because we want a lot of fuzz. I think that's very appropriate, Terry. That this is an adventure, so it should be this one. Because this is our first adventure on acrylic pores. I'm kind of addicted. I'm addicted to the acrylic pores, and I'm totally addicted to the inks. I gotta tell you, I made some more today. Um, just because, I, I, again, I'm trying to figure out if first graders, that's a first grade project. Could first graders really do that? And what am I gonna do with 70 little alcohol ink splotches? <laughs> okay, we are fuzzed, fuzzed, fuzzed. Okay, the other problem with these is you have a whole lot of options. This corner, this corner, middle. Hang it this way, hang it this way. I just keep turning it around in a circle. I think I, I always like to do it this way. But maybe we'll... Maybe, again, we should live on the whole adventure theme. And I think we're just going to put it right at the bottom. Ladies, I hope you are on the edge of your seat. Because this, I hope, works. The key is, why would the paint stick to the glass? Looks like a mountain that way. You're right. It does look like a mountain that way. Okay, color. I think I pulled them all out. The ones I thought would be good. Now, we could go, you know, white. White is always going to work. I was leaning in the navy blue, but I was really kind of leaning in the navy blue for the welcome sign. We could go peacock. Now this one has, because this is what I did with different colors. This one has these little speckles of this very pale, pale blue purple. Wild berry purple or purple purple? Purple. Okay, so in our purple choices, ooh, Lisa. We have aubergine or aubergine? Aubergine or grape soda. Grape soda is bright. But I kind of like the aub Oh, Lisa, we are going with aubergine. Now, in theory, I can't really wash this off. But I suppose maybe it's paint. Maybe I could wash it off. Okay, I open up my paste. Stir, stir, stir. It's a decent consistency, so I'm not too worried about it. I don't need to add any water, which is interesting because I haven't used aubergine in a while. Grab my squeegee. Dip and go. So, squeegee, up and down, and across. That's all you do. Cover up your whole silk screen. This is a good choice, Lisa. This is a pretty color. Very pretty color. Cheryl likes the color. Good job. Cheryl, you're my color girl. Okay. Moment of truth, lady. Ladies. I'm not going to watch. You guys tell me. Does it take the paint? I'm just going to leave the paint. I'm going to pull slow. I'm pulling slow. Slow. 
Notice how I'm pulling up and down. I'm not pulling like this. Good night, my son. Night. I love you. Love you. Sleep good. Yep. Everybody says good night. Yep. He says good night too. Lisa, you didn't let me down. Okay, stick him in my water bath. This is cool, Lisa! Oh my gosh! This is cool. I don't, I don't know how well you can see it. I don't know if the sheen helps you or doesn't help you see it. This is a good color. Good job, ladies. Love it. There we go. Okay, good job. And it worked. It did not pull up. It's nice because it's not so stark and in your face, right? That was a good color choice, Lisa. Reminds me of the of ice castles. Ooh. Lisa loves the colors in capital letters. She's yelling. She loves the colors. <laughs> oh. Only Maria can be this crazy this late at night. Okay, so I'm just cleaning out my paste to put it away. Well, well maybe. I'll just put my cover on it. We might use purple again. That turned out nice. Okay, next, let's do... We'll do love if we get to it. Okay, this one. This is my fave. I dropped the transfer. Now this transfer is one. Did you notice know there's no lines? It's not meant to be cut apart. But I'm cutting it apart anyway. As long as I don't cut into the silk screen, you can cut any transfer apart. So that's what I do sometimes with the really big transfers. Because it makes them easier to chalk if they're in smaller pieces. So all I want to do in this one is I just want to put the three words along the bottom. And we're back to the question of which side. I like it on this side. And I think we should do these guys in white. So, what do you think, ladies? White, storm. So this white is white, white, white. It's not dirty white, like fresh linen. So if we were going to do white, it would need to be white, white. Um, get my stuff out of the way. So we could do storm. I think um, ocean mist is too pale of a blue. Too much of the same. Wrong color hue. Um, I think we have to go... Oh, <laughs> ladies. Okay, do wild berry. Terry says white. I'll just leave that there and let you guys think about that one while I grab Storm. <laughs> we could do Storm. <laughs> Lisa. Lisa, I think you like bold colors. I don't think you're a muted color kind of gal. So, you had three choices. Wildberry, white, or storm? Not storm. Ooh, Virginia loves the wildberry. No storm. I got two no storms. I think you need something brighter, Cheryl says. Ooh, gold would be pretty. Mm. You know, Ashley, you are a woman after my heart. And after Wednesday, when my new shipment comes with all my new stuff, I'll have gold paste. But I don't have gold paste yet. Yep, bold jewel tones are all the way. Evie likes berry. It doesn't take me long to figure out I'm going with berry, right? Oh, that's white. I love me some berry. Oh, gosh, this is such a pretty color. Or copper metallic. 
Ashley says Barry. Okay, so full disclosure, ladies. I do have copper ink. I also have silver shimmer. But they're ink. Not that that's a bad thing. They just, um, you can't heat set this. They still dry. Um, they stay tacky, unlike paste. Wednesday, the, in the new catalog came out all of the shimmers that are currently in ink. They are coming out in, they came out, I shouldn't say. They're out already. I just don't have them yet. They're out in paste. Um, uh, let me pull out the copper. I am not a fan of the metallics. Did I say that already? So this is Silver Shimmer. And there's copper. It's in here so Actually, copper's in the other room because Charlie used it to make his mug. So I can show it to you on Charlie's mug, but it's in the other room. Copper is... You have too much air, too much light. Um, not a fan. Wildberry. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. I'm going Wildberry. Okay, so we're going to fuzz, 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 fuzz. Do you know that I can say that in my sleep? Fuzz, 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 fuzz. I bet you can too. <laughs> I bet you all can because Maria says that. That's like my mantra. Fuzz, 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 fuzz. So the difference now is we're going on canvas versus glass. So we know that our paint stuck to glass. Now the question is, I can't see why it wouldn't stick to the canvas. But. So dream, create, inspire, right? That would be the order. I cut them apart, so. Um, oh, I cut them apart, so my back. Yeah, it's dream, create, inspire is the order they're supposed to go in. And I think that, that makes sense, right? First you would dream, then you would create, and then you would be inspiring, right? Okay, so we're going to dream. We're just going to go right along the bottom. We're going to create. Now, my canvas is warped. Probably because the amount of liquid on them. <laughs> and we're going to inspire. I'm assuming that when I put it in a frame it's going to flatten out. I'm sure it will. Could also be because the paint shrunk as it dry, 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 dried. Okay, so I gotta, I have to line this up because the P goes down. Because the P goes down, the rest of the words really have to come up. Oh, and I, I need to make an allowance for my frame. I gotta move up a little bit. Now, you ladies could all be having this much fun, too. Um, www.chalkcouture.com slash Maria is where you can see all these beautiful and amazing products, and you could be having all this much fun at your own home. Please, if you could, share my video. I would greatly appreciate that, because it does help me when you share my video. And if you are not currently a member of the Making Maria VIP group, you want to join that's where we do the fun specials where you can buy things for discounted prices. Okay, we're not straight. We're kind of, we're wavy. But as you can tell, I keep pulling them up and the paint's staying down, so I'm not going to worry about my paint sticking because it's seeming to stick just fine. Still frozen. Oh, I'm, I'm not frozen up there, but I'm frozen down there. Hang on, ladies. I'm coming back to you. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Now I'm back. I gotta freeze every night at some point, right? I don't know why it does that. I'm still lining up because I'm crooked and then I'm, not, I'm one's low, one's high. 
I have nothing to gauge it off of. I have no lines. I have... They're just freeform. Now, if I was smart, I would pull out my laser level with the lights, and it would tell me if I was straight. Oh, light-wise. I don't know how to make you see. But I think they're straight. They're as straight as they're getting. Make, going over my letters, my fingers, making sure that um, my silk screen and flat adhesive for my transfer is stuck down. And here we go. Chalking away. Oh, I love this color. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't even like pink. Okay, so I don't have a ton of room, so I really want to make sure I don't go off my transfer because I don't know if the paint would be forgiving to try to wash it off. And I should be pulling them up as I go because I'm risking my Inspire drying. I should have pulled it up. Okay, put my excess back in my container. Start with the first one I did. Start it in the corner. Pull it from the middle. This was a good color choice. This is a very good color choice. Lisa. Good choice. Okay. I should have pulled them one at a time, but it's coming fine. Okay. Got our little create. It's time for dream. Dream. Dream, 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 dream. I'm singing, that means we've been on too long. <laughs> Good job, ladies. This is cool. Very nice job. Now, this one will go in a white frame. I think this one, I'm going to put in a black frame. Okay, that one looks cool. Stay. All right, so. Whew. No pressure. No pressure. So, the next project we're going to do is the canvas, the big one. And I, again, full disclosure, I have never chalked on stretched canvas. So, Debbie loves it. Terry says, very cool. Lisa says, really pretty. Thank you, ladies. I love it, too. And that blue one is my favorite one. All right, so we are going to do welcome, and I was going to do welcome in navy blue, although aubergine might not be a bad choice either. But I think we're going to, for a little variety, we'll do navy. And we're probably going to use the big boy. So um, they say when you do canvases, because they're bouncy, you need something for a little resistance underneath them. Oh, and I was going to show you. This is what happens. Maria, I think when all else fails, let's always use wild berry. <laughs> Virg, you are so right. You just got to use that wild berry. So this is what happens when it's not level. See here? I had a big pool of paint. Um... And that's what happens when, when you let it dry and it's not level. Oh my goodness, ladies. The ones we have made are stunning. Oh my gosh. I'll show them to you. I'll try to show them to you. You don't want to move them too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my towel and I'm going to stick it underneath to give me some resistance more so than just being willy-nilly. And hopefully, without a big bump. Hopefully that'll work. I don't know, we're gonna find out. So, I've been working on all these classroom art projects and I am almost done with coming up with all six of the projects. 
then I get to coordinate with the principal and make them with all the kids. And it's so much fun to go to school and make our projects with little kids. Oh my gosh. They're so excited. And they're so much fun. Oh, those little people are so cute. Oh my goodness. All right, so big transfer. Take the back off of the transfer. You can get the corner. And hold it down, take it slow, so that you don't get a whoosh, and then you're stuck to each other. Okay. Now this particular welcome is retired. Um, it was part of the double welcome. There were two different welcome sizes in it, which were really cool this particular one but there's a bunch of new ones so I'm fuzzing because we're gonna go in the canvas brand new this welcome's not been used so we really need to because he is sticky 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 so we fuzz away so is it snowing where everybody else is? We're supposed to get some ridiculous amount. The kids are already praying for another snow day. Okay, so I didn't want to do the welcome right in the middle. I wanted to do the welcome towards the bottom. Because I think if we do it towards the bottom, you can see more of the beauteous. So there's more activity up here than down here. So that's why I was going to... This one just looks like... A like a storm to me, you know, right? Like all the clouds in the sky. And the... Welcome to my safe haven. Right? Okay. So I'm just pushing her down. I'm not pushing overly hard because, again, it's got that bounce to it. Um, and I don't want to... Debbie... Debbie... <laughs> Debbie doesn't have any snow in Texas. Virginia, you don't have snow? You've had some bad weather, Virginia. Pontiac's got to have snow. Right, ladies? We have snow. You got to have snow. Hey, Nicole, I know you... Didn't you start out by saying you were you were praying for another snow day? I know my kids are. Okay, I've got air. I'm trying to get rid of the air. It's a big transfer space. Lots of opportunities for air bubbles in this guy. Now part of the air is because I'm pushing on it and it's got that give, so pushing on it gives the air that when you're laying it flat. Kids school was canceled today for snow and fog. Ashley, where are you? Oh, Evie, you got rain. Yuck. Yeah, Ashley, I don't know what part of the country you're in. Everybody else, eventually I figure out where you all are. Um, okay, so navy is super pretty. Now we could do navy, and we could do blue. This one has more blue in it than the other one did. This one has a lot more blue in it. It needs either dark. Oh, you're in Ohio, Ashley. So who, somebody else is in Ohio. You have a ton on the ground, but not snowing now. Who else is in Ohio? Jean. No. Is Jean in Indiana or is Jean in Ohio? We've got some Ohio people, Ashley. All right, so what do we think? Navy or this is morning sky, which is a bright blue. We could go, we could go ocean mist. Ocean mist is the ex perfect color for it. Terry says navy, Evie says navy. Um, the one I have open, that's navy. It's really not called navy, it's called midnight sky. Yeah. So we have midnight sky and we have morning sky. Apparently, this is what Chuck Couture feels the sky with. Virginia likes the dark. All right. You know me, I go pale and muted every time. So, we're going navy. Oh, big boy. This is a job for the big boy. Dun, dun, dun. Here comes the big boy. <laughs> Love the big boy. He makes jobs so easy. Oh my goodness, he makes jobs so easy. Okay. Just going across. 
with my navy. And fill in my silk screen. Navy is also very runny. I've noticed that every time. It's kind of like the black. It's the amount of pigment. Ooh, I want to be careful of that rose. I don't want that rose. Ooh, see, I should be paying attention. I should have put painter's tape over my rose because I don't want to... Oh, and I chalked the darn line. Oh, well. Well, we're going to find out if you can wash paint or chalk off of paint. This is the whole pay attention to what your transfer has on it, the parts you're not chalking. So my other transfer that I, I have two of these that I used the most, I had cut the rose out, which is why I was forgetting the rose was on this one. Because the other one doesn't have my rose on it anymore. You do have to say the rose is pretty when you use it. Just a simple little... Okay, now I'm going this way just to get rid of my lines and smooth myself out. Put my excess back in my container. Pull from the corner. Okay, pull from the middle. Don't like that noise. Do you guys like that noise? to find out if chalk will come off of acrylic. I bet it will. Okay, so I'm getting him wet and putting him in my water bath. This looks nice. Good color choice. Look at that. Washes right off. Oh my goodness. Whew. All right. Now, who would not want to be welcomed from the storm with this beautiful sign? Okay, and in re all reality, ladies, probably the most time-consuming part of the sign is mixing up the paint, doing the pour and waiting patiently, because, you know, that's so not my thing, waiting patiently to be able to chalk on it so that it cures. But this, this is a beautiful sign. Very good color choices. So what I will do is our projects that are currently drying that we um, made, I will show you them tomorrow night. I'll try to show them to you now, but I'll show them to you all dry where I can really move them around tomorrow night. So this is this one. Let me try to get it out of the glare. This is real. Look at the metal. I hope you can see the metallic. But look at all those like little bubbles. Those are cells of pockets I guess of color that's how you get the beautifulness of the pour so that's that one and then our little guy looks completely different and that all has to do with the layering as I'm pouring paint on my floor um, of how you layer the paint into the cup so this one has very little metallic there's just a couple little areas with the metallic in it otherwise it's all Oh, you guys can see that. No glare. So that's that one. So I'm going to put a wipe under this because it's pouring paint on my floor. I'm not going to get acrylic paint out of my carpeting. This room is carpeted, unfortunately. Um, this one, we're going to have to come up with a really good transfer to put on this one. Because this is stunning. Oh, my God. Goodness, this is stunning. See, now this to me looks a lot like a Van Gogh. <laughs> I'm such an artist, right? But like the poppy field Van Gogh. I'm a huge Van Gogh fan, but um, like the poppy field of flowers. Uh, oh, well, can you see that? You'll be able to see it better tomorrow night. Oh, ladies. Great job. Oh, my goodness. Great job. All right, so. I'm making Maria, your independent chalk couture designer. Check me out on uh, www.chalkcouture.com slash making Maria. Or making Maria's VIP group has some bundles in it. And we're going to do a Valentine's Day special for Valentine's Day. Probably some transfers it's on sale. So you want to get in that group if you're not already in that group. 
Virginia says, I'm already saying purple or wild berry. Oh, for tomorrow nights? Ooh. I don't know. I, I'm curious to see when you see the metallic. Look at my mess. When you see the metallic on this one? I don't know. I think he's not screaming wild berry to me at all. But the, ooh, Lisa says yes. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. I hope he keeps his sheen. So that's our other test that we're going to see. Because as you notice, this guy had a lot of sheen. He was not sealed. And that's because I used the more expensive um, pouring medium. The other pouring medium um, didn't give me a sheen. So I had to spray. And even then it didn't give me a sheen. Maybe white, white. Dark green would stand. Oh, that's just, hang on. I'm <laughs> showing him a look at it. Dark green. That's an interesting thought. Dark green. It looks like a wave. Yeah, it's pretty. Cheryl says she was thinking white too. Yeah, I think this bad boy needs white. Or, I could break down and do sh silver shimmer. <gasps> we could wait till Wednesday. Oh, we have to wait anyways, because he has to drive. We can't chalk on him tomorrow. He has to drive. Wednesday. This silver shimmer paste will be here. Although this we could, well, I haven't heat set glass that I've painted in the oven. Um, but you can heat set this. So, silver shimmer might not be a bad. Silver shimmer or white are going to be our two. Silver would be awesome, Lisa says. I agree. Okay, ladies, I have a ridiculous mess to clean up. <laughs> oh, goodness, you should see this room. I'm going to clean it up. Thank you so much for watching me. Very, very much appreciate it. As always, please hit that share button. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you tomorrow's Tuesday. Oh, tomorrow night, assuming we don't get 12 inches of snow and everything is canceled, I have a craft night here. So I was thinking we might go live if people come. They're already starting to message me that oh, they don't know about the weather. So if nobody comes, we'll have a video. If people come then maybe we'll do it live from the crop night. We'll see how many come. But then Wednesday night, we're back late because I teach a class on Wednesday night. I'm rambling. We all know what that means. That ramble point says hit the finish button. Thank you so, so much. Everybody sleep good. Be safe in this weather and have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.